Hi, today I'm going to show you how to cut a surface in Amaris and then to correct any extraneous sections that were also cut. So here I have my surface selected and I'm in the Edit tab, which is a little pencil icon. You can see here in the Cut subsection, there's a Cut Surface icon, or button rather, that won't be selectable until I've actually placed my cut. When you're trying to cut a section of your surface object, you first need to change the view, the orientation of your surface object so that where you want the cut to be placed will be on an imaginary vertical line. When you're ready to place your cut, you will hold your shift key on your keyboard and left click with your mouse. I clicked on this segment of my surface, but my imaginary vertical line of the cut is going to interact and intersect with my surface object um, on that vertical line. The surface will be cut everywhere where that blue line is highlighted on the surface object. Sometimes you can get a better cut place if you change the view of your surface object and so that it the imaginary vertical line intersects with your surface object in less locations, but sometimes it's just not possible. When you're ready to actually complete your cut, you will select the button here that says Cut Surface. The cut will then be created everywhere where that blue line is present on the surface. You can see that this process is proceeding down here. Depending on how large your surface is, this process can take a while. After the cut has been placed, I can select to see what the different segments are left remaining. The way I like to color code this so I can actually see where the cut occurred it can be found in the color tab, which is this rainbow hexagon icon. If I change my color type from base to object ID, I can see how many different structures in the surface Amaris has um, is showing as independent units, and then I can make corrections as needed. So if I wanted to delete this branch here on this structure, I can do so with the circle selection tool, and I can delete the structures that I'm interested in removing based on what that cut was. So once again, in the Edit tab, I can delete those structures. But since there were so many extraneous cuts that were created, I can also bring those back to the original surface. So I can select those either with my circle selection tool or my pointer selection tool. And by highlighting all of the structures that I want to be considered one individual unit in Amaris, I can then select them so they're highlighted in yellow by holding the control key and select unify. Amaris will then color code these so they all have one co color code and so that indicates that Amaris will treat them as an individual unit. Sometimes when you're doing a um, cuts in Amaris, a lot of small little structures will be created. I have found that grabbing these small structures using the filter tool can be really helpful. So if I select the filter tool, which is this gray little funnel icon, I can add a new filter and select the objects that are really small. So if I use the volume statistic, I can select those tiny structures and then filter those out or delete them. So if I turn off my bottom threshold, I can scroll in to have better control over what's being selected or removed in this thresholding graph. And then I can manually type in a volume value here, or I can adjust the actual vertical threshold here with this vertical line. And I am right clicking to adjust the actual upper boundary of this threshold. So once I have this selected, um, I can also go back to the edit tab and delete those as necessary. And then if I wanted everything to be considered the same, you know, structure here in this, in this surface object that I have just removing that small segment that I wasn't interested in keeping, I can then once again, select that unify button here. And then Amaris will now consider this to be an individual unit, as you can tell, because there's only one color code.
So this is how I would cut an object and then fix those extraneous cuts that I'm not interested in keeping. Please let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Thanks.